I think that we have a communication problem. I know I'm not perfect, but at least I'm trying. You know, sometimes I think you're not listening to me. Oh, I hurt your feelings, I'm sorry. All right, you wanna have breakfast? Yeah. You don't wanna have breakfast? You wanna have breakfast, huh? Okay, let's go. Ooh. Your breakfast, and this is my breakfast. Okay? We interrupt this program from a live broadcast from the university. Dermot McDougall, an athletic student accused in the sexual assault of a female student, is threatening to jump from a building on campus. McDougall maintains that he is innocent and is refusing to surrender to the police. Yeah. Yeah, I'm watching it. Okay. I'll be right there. Stay back. Hey, stop. Don't come any further. I'll jump, man. Go inside. Street? Yes, sir. What happened? Guy climbed out there on the ledge about 20 minutes ago. All I could get out of him was he wanted to talk to you. He's a suspect in a rape case. A rape? It was identified by the victim. All right, you better stay here. If he sees too many badges, he just may jump. Right. Good luck. Okay, I'll take you. I didn't do it, coach. Okay. Um, you want to talk about it? 
I'm here, Demo. Talk to me. I met this girl. Went back to her place and we started to make out, you know? And she said, fine. I swear, she said, fine. And... If you didn't do it, then why are you up here? Come on, coach. You know, something like this, you know, an accusation is just as bad as a conviction. I mean, what team's gonna wanna touch me now? It's over for me. It's okay. Let's go. Okay? Come on. Give me your hand. Hold on! Don't let me. Can't afford an attorney, one will be provided for you to understand his rights. And in local news, another prisoner attempting escape from the Ogden Correctional Facility last night was shot and killed by the guards. Baxter Kressler, spokesperson for the prison, said that the escape epidemic is well under control, but had no comment on why the last month has seen 10 inmates killed while trying to escape. Hello? Hey, honey, it's me. Nicole, where have you been? I've been trying to get a hold of you for days now. I know, sweetie. Honestly, I've been so busy. Listen, as soon as I finish this job, I promise you I'm all yours. All right. Well, I'm glad you called. Listen, I got your messages about tomorrow night. Yeah, I'm dying to see you. Just give me till 6.30, okay? Okay. Listen, honey, I gotta go. I'm really late. All right? I love you. I miss you. Yeah, yeah, me too. Bye, darling. Bye-bye. It's August, I'm back at Ogden. Daytime, business as usual. That's the big guy that's been winning all the fights. They seem to be busting in other prisoners for the nighttime fights.
Michael Kent. Whatever the story is, it better be worth it. Hey, how goes the great smoke out? Great. Thanks for asking. Now listen, can you at least give me a hint on what this is about? You know my lips are sealed. Does Dirk know about this? What? Well, you know he's not going to be too happy if he thinks you're working on something dangerous. Relax, boss. Dirk has total confidence in me. I gotta go. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. <gasps> right on schedule. Two in the morning, first fight. Ah! Ah! is getting bloodier and bloodier. Prisoner has to be carried out of the ring. There's a woman in there. What's that in her hand? It's like a video camera. I'm gonna check her out. There's that big guy again. <laughs> is 11th in a row. I've got enough to go to the cops and end this bloody game. All right, let's go.
Yeah, this is Dirk. Dirk, glad I caught you. Listen, uh, the cops... Found Nicole left for dead in the overflow channel. Is she dead? Uh, she's still alive, but critical. Where is she now, Bill? She's in Sunset Hospital. I... I'm going there right now. I'll be there later. Dirk, thank God you're here. We've tried you so many times. Mr. Longstreet, I'm not gonna pull any punches with you. She could still leave us. Her coma is a result of a massive trauma. Her body shut down. For how long? A few days, a week, a year. Her brain has to turn itself back on. She's lost a lot of blood. She was uh... raped severely. She can't have any visitors until she's out of the ICU. I'm very sorry. Hey, man. The cops want to talk to you. Let's uh, go outside and get some air. What do you say? I made some of these changes that you asked me. I like me that. Know. That looks good. Just flip that last. Okay. Hi, Dirk. I need to talk to you. Just um, keep doing what we talked about. Switch the paragraphs over. Okay. Hey, what's up? You know, the cops have no leads on what happened to Nicole. So I guess it's up to us. You have a plan? Well, I'm sure you have some favors you can ask. Hmm? Some strings you can pull. I know you are never without an angle, <laughs> right? Can I quote you on that? Sure you can. Let's go. I'll be back. Hey! Hey, Mr. Editor. It's the deal. We don't like what you wrote about us. We feel like you don't understand us. So if you apologize, maybe you'll live to see another morning. Yeah, and some financial compensation, all right? How much? You'll take whatever you got on you. And this car right here, homie. I'll take care of that. You think I'm him? You think I'm me? Come on, mofo! <laughs> <laughs> Nice kick. Hey, thanks. I needed the workout. You handled yourself pretty good back there for a reporter. Well, so did you. Listen, I called Bill, told him we're gonna need his computer savvy. He should be able to help us out. Are you sure Bill was coming? Yeah, yeah, I talked to him. He's the guy that installed the security system on our computer. There he is. It's about time, Hi, guys. Bill. Hey, Bill. Good. You brought your computer, right? Yeah. So how is uh, Nicole doing? Well, she's all right. Well, stable, but they haven't taken her off the critical list yet. And because I can't talk to her, I need to get into her computer. We assumed you installed it, right? Yes, I did. So, what do you want me to do in there? I'm sure the answer to what happened to Cole is right in this computer. I hope she didn't change her password. Access 
denied. Well, she did. Okay, now I'll try the default setting. Hopefully the computer will read the difference. Hmm. Access denied. We'll have to find a back door. Maybe if I use my subroutine, I can break the firewall. Access denied. I'm going to have to fry the security drive and use my master password. That will make the firewall think I'm Nicole. This is our only hope, guys. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> okay, I need any files that were modified on or around the night that Nicole was attacked. Uh, okay, we have June log, July log, and August. Okay, August, Ogden. Yeah, this one, this looks familiar. Ogden. Okay. Uh, Ogden Correctional. That's the city jail. No wonder she's been busy every Saturday. Isn't this the same jail where your student, uh, what's his name, Dermot, was it? Huh. She had an informant told her that there is some kind of fight club in there. OK, I see. 2 AM, expected start time of underground fight, called fight club. Hmm. Her last entry is on the day she disappeared. I don't think anyone's gonna believe us. We're going to need some proof. I will get proof. I suggest you give a visit to your buddy and see what's in there. Don't want to mess with those guys. If you want to live long, come with me. How are they treating you? Is there something wrong? Talk to me. There's a fight club in here. Tell me about it. And then there's, there's this guy, Mike Roberts. He's, he's huge. I mean, this guy's huge. He's, He's like the champion of this thing. Okay, if, if they ask, I just came to tell you that your mother is sick. Time to go. Max, you got to get me into our town. Okay, I'll get you in. But you're gonna have to prepare yourself, man. You know what I'm talking about? You're gonna have to join their circuit. Fight a few of their guys to figure out who's behind all of this. Don't worry about that. I'll be ready. Yeah, well, you better.
You have to go now. When she wakes up, tell her she said yes. What's up? You want to tell me why I'm here? Shut up. That bitch I gave you, she's still alive. So? Why didn't you kill her? She comes out of that coma. She could take us all down. So you got a plan? Yeah. Yeah, I got a plan. Okay, I'll send in the guys. Yeah. You do that. This convict. You don't kill her this time. I'm gonna kill you. You got me. You're a dead man. You better fucking make sure this is taken care of. Now get out of here. Yeah, Max. We're running out of time. If we're going to get Dirk in, it has to be now. Okay, I'm on it. Betsy? Betsy? Yes, what is it? Give me all of Nicole's files from her desk. Do you know what time it is? I don't care what time it is. I want everything. I want every person she's contacted with in the last six days, notes, files, telephone numbers, the works. And I want it 10 minutes ago. I liked you so much better when you smoked. I heard that. And I like myself better when I smoke, too. Yep, this is Dirk. Get ready, Dirk. You're going in.
get out of here. Yeah? Hey, Dirk. Listen, I tried to get you earlier. I just got in. Somebody got to Nicole. What do you mean you got to Nicole? She's all right, right? Yeah, she's gonna be fine. Last night, a couple of goons knocked out a nurse and broke into Nicole's room and murdered her doctor. Okay, I got there just in time, but the goons got away. Max, she's okay, right? Yeah, she's still in a coma, but she's stable. There's a uniform on duty now outside her door. I'm coming down. No, you're not. You listen to me and listen good. I cannot sneak you into that prison if you show your face around here, okay? Whoever those two were last night worked for the police. You get it? Okay. But how am I going to get in? I've paid a guard at Gilmore Penitentiary to sneak you in with a bunch being transferred from Ogden. Okay? Are you ready? Bill is going to be there to make sure it goes smooth. Gonna get them. Max, it's me. Dirk got on the prison bus, no problem. I'm tailing them now. Okay, Max. Dirk is in. You sure? Yeah. Now it's all up to him. Open gate seven! Welcome to Ogden, ladies. My name is Baxter Kressler. I'm your new boss. Any of you getting mouthy? Out of line in any way? Then your ass will be my personal property. And trust me, you don't want that. This is my prison. And in here, I am God. One big, sir. Sorry, I wasn't uh, expecting you today. What the hell are you doing, man? If you ever lay a hand on one of these men one more time, you're going to be in a cell with them. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Yes, sir, warden. Get the hell out of here. My name is Jonathan Biggs. I'm the warden here. I would like to welcome you to Ogden. I would like to assure you that Baxter does not run the prison around here. Anybody here has a suggestion or any complaints at all to make this prison better, please let me know. You've all been assigned cells, so please wait for the guards to escort you. Move it out. All right, guys. My name's Jack Jessup. My friends call me Blackjack. Jack. No, man. My friends call me Blackjack. We're not friends yet. So, what's your name? 
Jim. Jim Morrison. You put on a good show today, boss. Did you like that? Oh, yeah. You know, I think a couple of those boys are sporting a little wood for you. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. I think you had them thinking. Well, tell them to keep it in their pants. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to do something for me. Yeah. I want you to bring me Jim Morrison, number 33318. His file says he was a kickboxer. Really? This could be really good, Baxter. Actually, I think I've got a better idea. Why don't you just test him out yourself? See what he's made of. <laughs> Warden, that would be a pleasure. <laughs> That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Take it easy. Hey, Morrison. I need to speak to you. Ask you a question, boy. You a fighter? Who wants to know? I do. What do you want from me? I want to see if you can fight. Just try. I will, convict. I will. Sign up. A wife. 
The circuit. Did you sign up? We had one at Gilmore Pen. I fought in it. I just want to do my time and get out. They don't give you much of a choice. They want you. Hey, go ahead, take a seat. Would you like a drink? Sure. All right. You see, uh, we've got a lot of opportunities in this prison for men with the courage to go the extra mile. Now, called you here for a reason. Here you go. I want you to fight for me. A man of your persuasion can really put butts in the seats. Persuasion? Come on, Morrison. In the world of professional sports, the black is your dominant. Everybody knows that. Now, rich white folks will pay good money to see a white boy like yourself win and win again and keep winning. Now, we can only watch so much damn hockey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want you to prove yourself as a great white warrior. I can give you all the comforts you need to make your stay here very, very pleasurable. And if I say no? I'll set you up on so many bogus charges. I'll get your sentence increased by 20 years. I'll basically make your life a living hell. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to fight for you. Good. Cheers. Oh, come on, man, you get better than that. Hey, I'm over here. How are we doing? Good. Anything unusual to report? No. Ah, Pike wins again.
Warden Simmons. I hear your champions are bragging. Yeah? Well, that's what I hear, man. Anyway, uh, hear me out. I have finally found Parker Park, so how about we do the beach scenario? It's easy to secure and it's way out of the way. This weekend? All right, I'm game, man. <laughs> I'll double my wager if that's okay. Great, great. Yeah. in my ass. I just realized who you are. I saw you fight a few years back. I didn't recognize until I saw you again tonight. Never thought I'd meet Dirt Lone Street again. But you have to keep it quiet between us. Hi, Warden Reynolds. It's Warden Biggs, Ogden Correctional. Yeah, I'm calling about a recent transfer at Jim Morrison. Now, why would you transfer this guy? He could win you a lot of money. Besides, I heard your circuit is losing badly anyway. No, I said a Jim Morrison. Never heard of him. That is impossible. I've got his file right in front of me. I'm looking at it right now. Besides, I've seen him fight. Oh, I see. All right, thanks, Warden. Morrison, your ass is mine. That Dermot kid is Morrison's weakness, Baxter. I want you to exploit it. I want to know who Morrison really is. I want to know everything. You know what? Do whatever you want <laughs> to find out. <laughs> Warden, if he knows, I'll make him talk. That's what I thought, Baxter. <laughs> Go get him. Cell nine. What, 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 what's, what's, what's going on? What's your affiliation with Morrison? Morrison? Who's, 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 who's... Now, what's the deal with you and Morrison? What? I, I don't know. Who are you, you talking? Talk to you. Oh, oh, oh. The guy on the bench you and Blackjack were sitting with. Who is he? Blackjack, he, inter he introduced us. I, I, I just said, ah! Shut I, up. I just, Shut I, up! I, oh, oh. <coughs> Bring in Pike. Pike, where was I? I didn't, I didn't do it. I didn't do anything. What did I, what, what did I... Time. How do you know Morrison? All right, all right. 
His, his name is Dirk Longstreet. He's, he's, he's a teacher at my university. Why is he here? He's trying to find out who killed his fiance. What's her name? I don't remember. I just know she's a reporter. Thanks, kid. I'm trying to say goodbye. <laughs> Hey, Dirk. Dirk. What? You're not gonna believe this. The kid friend of yours is dead. Who? Yeah, Mom. Hung himself in his cell last night. Hey! What? How what? How many times I told you to not work out here? Well, I'm here. Your kind shouldn't be here. You think you could take the three of us? Hey, get back. Hey! Here. I can handle this. <laughs> I know you can. But I got some anger I want to get out. So. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, man. You don't want to kill him. I guess whooping those boys' butts didn't help your move. It was just a kid, Jack. Hey, man. When your number's up, it doesn't matter how fast you run. They'll get you. I got him killed. Word around here saying Pike killed the boy. Killed him in cold blood. You gotta watch yourself. What are you looking at, bitch? Huh? What do you want? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, get him! 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 Come
You know you'll be accusing me for killing some reporter slut who's been snooping around where she did in Milan. Look, look, look. You have to shot at the ring where everything is legal. Everything is legal. You're dead, Longstreet. Let's go. Come on, Pike. You guys are Ogden's best fighters. You guys have already proven that. Now, we've got a challenge from another penitentiary called Gilmore Penitentiary. Those guys have been bragging for the last couple of months, and they're talking you guys down. I want you to fight these guys, and I want you to teach them a lesson. They punch you in the nose, you crack their ribs. They crack your ribs, you knock them out cold, like a stuck pig. You guys understand what I'm saying? I hate losing. I hate losing and I hate losers. At the end of the fight, I want you to be standing up, not the opponent. You guys up for the challenge? Yeah! Are you up for the challenge? Yeah! Yeah! All right! Yeah. Max. Your son tired. I'll be all right. Hey, you know Biggs? Is setting you and Pike up to fight some champs from another prison. Did you know that? The war is on, yeah. I know. Well. Don't trust Pike, not for a second. Yeah. Do you know when we fight? This weekend, but I don't know where. OK. When you find out, just uh, call Sykes. I'm sure it will help. I tried. Sykes is on assignment in Texas. Just figured out where they're taking us and call the feds. I'll be there. I better go before someone gets suspicious. I'll talk to you later. OK, see ya. Matches, matches. I told you, half the money will be transferred into your account by the end of the day. You know what needs to be done? Good, you call me when the bitch is dead. needs to go down tonight. I'll take care of everything. You sure? 
If he had put a few bullets into the bitch's head like I told him, none of this would be happening. Watch your mouth, Pike. I took care of the girl last night. Baxter, take Pike back to his cell. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Max. I spoke to the sergeant. No, he can't move in until he has the evidence. Now listen, can you at least keep a unit on standby, ready to move in? Okay, I'm trying to get the coordinates. I still don't know where they are. I know on the beach, but which beach? The startup time of the tournament is 2 a.m. I'll try to find the coordinates. Okay, call me. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll talk to you in a few minutes, bye. Later. Tell them we're starting. That's Marson right there. The black hat. Can't believe it. We're ready to start. I'll be there. Wait here. Folks, I know it's cold tonight, but we're all here to see this convict get a shot at the big prize. <laughs> but I can promise you more than just fights. I promise you a lot of blood. I promise you a lot of pain. I can even promise you a death or two. Are you folks ready to see some blood tonight?
number three. It's good.
Does Dirk know what time we're meeting him? I will take the chopper, yeah. The sun will be up in a few minutes. Where are you flying from? From Van Nuys Airport. See you there. You'll need more than a chopper, Bill. Okay, okay you bring the cops. Send the coordinates to the sheriff. Okay. I'm leaving now. <sighs> Folks, before the final fight, I've got a wonderful surprise for everybody tonight. I know something you don't, folks. This man right here has already held his prize many times over. Haven't you? <laughs> before Dirk Longstreet came here, he used to fight in an arena like this all over the eastern seaboard. So you guys expect a great fight tonight. Yeah! Sirens. Let's get out of here. Come on, let's go this way. If we look at the geography of this entire region, there is only one area accessible for cars. That's where he'll be. We'll be there in 15 minutes. Let's go.
Fix. Jack, are you okay? Dirk. Sorry, we're late. Max, you made it. Are you okay? I'm tired of this life. And every time I try to live a normal life, someone close to me dies. Uh, uh, I think this belongs to you. 